How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video we're going to be doing something very different. So in this video we're going to be talking about the controllers and what they can do, what the buttons do, and how everything works. I haven't seen a video on uh, YouTube concerning these controllers and what you can do with them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So first we're going to talk about the basics. This is the volume controller. As you can see on the shield, I'm moving it up, volume up, move it down, volume down. Here's your search button. Pressing this will trigger Google as so and you can search here uh, this is your back button this is your home button this is your select button and these are your arrow buttons as you can see how I'm moving things here alrighty so let's talk about um, a little more advanced with this controller so if you press and hold back you'll access your settings from here you can do restart sleep you can change your network display sound and so on so we're gonna press back to go back also if you want to access recent apps you can double press home like so and as you can see, here are my apps that I can open up and also I can dismiss them by pressing down. And that dismisses them like so. Alright, and another thing you can do is hold home here. And home will, if you press and hold home, it will allow you to um, open up a list of all your apps. So you can go through and cycle through your apps, open whatever you'd like to open. And um that is how you would do that. Now, there's another thing you can do if you're updated on the latest version or on the very first version, you should have NVIDIA Share. If you want to trigger that, you can press and hold the circle, the home button, and that'll bring this up. And from here, you can uh, do recordings, you can broadcast, and you can upload from here as well. I'll do a video on this if you guys seem like you're interested on that. So um, another cool thing is, let's say you was playing a video and you wanted to pause it. You can double click the volume rocker here. So you double click and the video pauses. I'm not going to display that due to copyright uh, claims that could occur. But if you double tap that, it will pause and play the video. Another thing you can do is you can, uh, if you want to repair your controller, let's say you go over a friend's house and you bring your controller and you want to pair your controller with, with their shield, you'll press and hold these buttons here. Press and holding this will trigger the pair. You have to hold it for three seconds and it'll start pairing the controller to the um, closest shield. Another thing you can do, also, if you have the controller like me where you just have the battery and not the rechargeable one, you can reboot your controller by popping out the um, battery, putting it back in. Another thing, if you have the uh, controller that is rechargeable, you can reboot it by only holding the search back and home button. Press and hold these and it will trigger a reboot of the controller. Won't work with this one because it is battery powered. And that'll conclude what this controller can do. We're going to move on to the next controller. That'll be the Shield Gaming controller. Alrighty, I'm going to have to do this kind of fast because this controller is about to die. So um, this just your select button, back button, these buttons don't do much here. You can also do it right here with this, this here. You can also do it from here as well. Um, up, down, these are pretty self-explanatory. Nothing special. Um, the things you can do, you press this to search. Back, your home, your controller's here. Um, you got your charge port, of course, search button. Uh, special things you can do with this, there's not much, really. So you can put the shield to sleep by pressing home and back. That will be, uh, that'll be these two buttons here. You can press these two buttons and it'll put it in the sleep mode. Um, of course, you can adjust the volume with this right here, volume up volume down, volume up, volume down. You can access on, you can access the uh, game stream mode by pressing and holding this button like so. And there it is right there. And of course, if you want to pair your controller, you can press and hold this for three seconds. It'll initiate a pair. And that's pretty much all you need to know about this controller. I hope that helped. Now we're gonna go over what the, uh, also you have a 3.5 uh, um, headphone jack here that's kind of hiding. But now, we're going to move on to the keyboard and go over that. Alright guys, so this is my uh, Logitech keyboard. This is the K400R. And um, I'm just going to go over a few short keys, what you can do with this. Of course, you have your mouse here that you can move. you got your, your select button you can press. you also got your select button here. Escape will uh, get you back into the home. Um, if you want to open something or select something, of course, you can enter. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And escape would get go back. If you want to go home, it's not escape. It'll be actually control escape. So if we open up an app such as uh, Nvidia Games, pressing escape, it will kill it. But some will uh, some games will ask you. But if you wanted, let's say you was in a 
in a um, app that you didn't want to close, you can just press Control Escape. And what that'll do, that'll basically minimize it or put it in the background process. It'll still be accessible. Um, to access recent apps, you'll just press Alt Tab. And it'll reopen the tab that you had open. Let's say we had multiple ones open. Then you can uh, just press it and it'll open it up open it up in multiple uh, instances here and you can come in here and kill them as needed. Let's get out of that. Alright guys, so for the keyboard that's really all there is to it. There's not anything special. Um, let's go over a quick recap of everything. So we'll move this aside. Alright, so a quick recap. Volume rocker, back button, home button, uh, search button, select button, arrow keys, um, you can press and hold the uh, back button to access, at, access your settings. Double press the home button, which is a circle button, to access recent apps. Press and hold the home button. You can access all apps. Um, you can put the shield to sleep by pressing the back and the home button. Um, if you want to play or pause a video, you can double click the volume rocker. If you want to repair your controller, press and hold the back button back button and um, home button and also if you want to reboot your remote you can top pop out the pop out the battery so if you want to reboot your remote you can also pop out your battery here all right quick recap of this guy your select buttons a back button b controls here and here you have uh, your home button your back button and your start button um, if you want to access settings, you can hold your back button here, which is over here. If you want to access recent apps, you'll double press your home button, which is uh, actually a circle here, so double press that for home. Or excuse me, you can double press this to access recent apps. So if you want to put your shit to sleep, you'll just double press these two buttons here. Volume rocker. If you want to play a video, start button here. If you want to access your um, GeForce Now, or your gaming GeForce game, game stream on the shield, NVIDIA Share as it's called. Press and hold this button here, this middle button. It'll kick that up. Um, if you want to repair it, you just will press and hold this button. And that's pretty much all you need to know from here. So that's a quick recap. Um, we're going to recap the keyboard one more time. Select, back, control, escape, is home, alt tab, access recent apps. And um, this doesn't work, but it's supposed to work. If you press and hold escape, it should open the, the GeForce Now game stream. But that didn't work for me, so we're going to not mention that. But guys, that is all there is to it. Um, that's the quick sh shortcuts. I'm going to have them all listed below as well, because I know just listening to this, you're not going to be able to ingrain this into your, to your head. So I'm going to have a uh, link to this, to the NVIDIA customer help link that shows all of these shortcuts. So I hope this video was informative. I hope this video helped you uh, learn the shortcuts. Maybe you learned something that you didn't already know. But that is all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.